shot. And she swallowed it. That is a monster. Hi there everybody, Trevor Randall's Outdoors Iowa here. So today, it's the end of July, and uh, I'm getting ready for deer season, gonna be a couple months away, but you always wanna prep early on. Uh, I'm not able to do food plots, but I do get out, I put some trail cameras up throughout the farm, and I make some mock scrapes to try to get some of the bucks to come through and try to pattern them. So that's usually what I do to get ready. Start in July, I check the camera cards about once a month or so until hunting season. So today I'm starting at the first spot and this is where I shot my buck last year. And I'll have a link to the video for that up above. It was pretty good, pretty good buck. I was pretty, pretty happy to get that first buck for bow season in three years for me. So hopefully this year goes just as good. So I'm going to show you what I usually do to get ready. So got here this is my stand that I hunt out of and I don't start clearing any of the brush or anything like I, I climb up and stand now and make sure all my straps are good. Everything's safe on the deer stand, but I don't start clearing out the brush until about another month or so because it's just going to overgrow again. Um, so I'll clear out my shooting lanes. So I come over here. Here's my camera location, if you can see it. And I have that facing straight across here. And there's a lot of deer that come through this area right here. They'll follow up through the farm. Now I've also got some really good trails that come through this really thick timber right here. So it's a really good funnel for the, for the deer. So that's why I chose this location. So then... I've got down here, I just start with a mock scrape. I take and the ground is wet enough today. I was able to just use my boots and scrape it up real good. And then you have a scent dripper that you can put in for a scrape. I have really good luck with those. It really brings the bucks in on the farm and it keeps them in this area and I'm able to get pictures of them because it's right here in front of the camera. And that way I can get an idea of what bucks I have on the farm. And another thing that I like to do above my scrapes, I'll use, I really like using cedar, but any branch will work. Basically it's a licking branch. They'll come across here and it's just like a magnet for bucks. They just have to touch it. They have to put their scent on it. So that usually gives me some pretty good success on getting bucks on camera and getting a really good idea of what I have for the season. I also want to say another thing you want to make sure to do when you're setting up your cameras, make sure you trim a lot of the growth uh, early in the season like this because it grows up extremely fast. And if you're not careful in a matter of a week, you can have a thousand pictures of a tree branch or leaves moving because you didn't clean it out in front of your camera. And then before I leave, I just check to make sure that the camera is facing where I want it to. So I'll be able to get a picture of any bucks that come through and want to check out the scrape or if they want to hit that branch. If they're walking through in the background, I can pick, pick them up all the way back there too. Pretty good area for a lot of deer traffic right here. I had a lot of pictures of this spot last year of deer.
that's why I ended up hunting and it ended up being a successful hunt for me. So all these things you gotta think about, you know, previously before before even the hunt starts. You know, preparation. You can't just come out here in one day and shoot a deer usually. I know some people that can, but not everybody can be that lucky. So we're gonna get on next to the next camera and get all this done for today. It's a little warm. Oh my gosh, you guys, check this out. Out checking trail cameras and then I see this patch of fresh wild blackberries. I got a handful picked. You know me, I'm not gonna pass up an opportunity like this. And man, fresh, don't have to buy them from a store. This just made my day, even if I don't find too many of them and granted there's a pretty good sized patch here that I can go through but not a lot not a whole lot ready yet but they're coming but this is the end of July good time to get out raspberries are pretty much done now except for some raspberry plants might still be producing if you find them in the shade but man fresh blackberries Whew. This might be the end of the video. I'm, I already did my second camera. The, the mosquitoes were so bad, I was just trying to get out of there real quick. But basically, same thing. Clear off the branches. Make sure there's nothing going to be in front of the camera. I did a little mock scrape and put up a new licking branch. So I'll come back and check the cameras here in, in about uh, three to four weeks. And I'll see what bucks are running around and see who might be on my target list this year. Hopefully you guys enjoy this short little video and I'm going to get to picking some more berries. Maybe I can take some enough back for the kids. We'll see. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys later.